really this, impressive. This is a Brill. It's still alive. McRobb's going to strike it, and that's going to go in for oh. a goal. A corner kick opportunity coming. McRobb gets his head on it. McRobb gives the Panthers the lead. An example of Finn McRobb's goal is an example of that, and he's got another one. Finn McRobb. And it's delivered towards McRobb. And it's cracked in! Finn McCrum is on fire for the High Point Panthers! As far as Yance. Whips it in. Montour spills it on the doorstep. And it's turned in by McCrum. Really takes away from what High Point wants to do. It's... Trying to get some inside positioning there was an or it was not to be. Stepping. The preseason offensive player of the year, a trio of tallies here in 2023. Ranks. They were two of the best players in the country. And it's great to see them here competing at a higher level of Division I soccer. In this first half, the, the shots belonging to Anor early on. Gashi had one. The first of the Islander goals. Yeah. Gotta tell you, I'm a little. Sam Goldfarb, Peyton Yaus on hand. Freshman All-American season. This is the leading scorer, Finn McRobb. You see he's got the captain's armband. One thing I see early is the switch of play from High Point. They like to switch it play, switch fast from McRobb, from Jefferson Amaya to their uh, wingers, especially with a guy like Tony Pineda on the wing, where he's a shifty winger who can get by any defender, <laughs> I'd like to say in the country. It's nice to have him on your team. Oh, hi. A big duo of him and McRobb in midfield. You love to see it. You love to see it. Great facilities here at the university. Don Baguena trying to get onto the end of it, battling with McRob. McRob, speedy and strong. For this last 20 minutes here. And he's going to be the guy that's really going to change the game. Once he takes over, if he just gets one shot. Big Rob. To Jefferson Amaya. It's a squad that doesn't necessarily love to counterattack, but when you come in tonight against a squad like the Panthers, which Monopoly. In the year, lost that one, one to two, but it's great to get that experience playing that upper level of competition and just a great learning experience for this Panther squad. How about Mark? Tested high point throughout their dominance in Big South so far. If you want to talk about a confidence booster, Gardner Webb is a team that likes to, to play off the counter, likes to play it fast. And at high point's really good at transition. High point, it's about passing fast, one, two touches, getting around the defender, nothing too fancy. And high point's starting to realize that by the amount of we call it corner throws from a brill. He has just dominated oh, it so yeah. far. And you can see it on the field, the expression on his face. And uh, from a coaching perspective, it, it's got to be an awesome thing to have in practice, just that veteran presence oh, in the yeah. locker room. Oh, yeah. And we talk about in any sport. Really. Put the pressure on the ball, boys. I and mean, here, give it to me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. uh, we need it. Come on, let's go. And it's the first half. You usually don't see that to the late in the second. But you could tell Hypo does not want this game to go into uh, halftime to have that composure to get a goal away from home I mean it was heartbreaking to lose 2-1 but yeah, 
to be honest, I have their words about some calls tonight. <laughs> and it's also just going to tell us how the game's going to be. That really strong back line once more was in double digit figures last season in goals. Linesman ultimately deem Ricardo Ferreira offside, but it required a conference between the lead of seven shots. When the ants shoot. This is a fixture high point has dominated. They have not lost to the Eagles since. Under Zach Keynes, he has a perfect record against this Winthrop score. Tension would have been to win, especially given that Asheville was hot on their heels. But to your point, the man who only managed six. Just four days for them after this game to get themselves in the right frame of mind, take on UNC. Came in for Pineda, as you saw the other. When you talk about the type of schedule this team plays. But interestingly enough, the most recent loss for High Point, and there's some time between there and here. That very hokey squad. And freshman Karen and ultimately Yance, a little back and forth between this group. Wiped away by Stidham. McGraw settles it. His postgraduate staff, a couple student assistants as well. He can be seen in the four assists he has, creating opportunities for his teammates. There has been plenty of extended run for reserves. Talked about that 2 nothing score way on back in high points favor. That also was the score the last time these... And continues a trend of scoring for the Cavaliers have secured something in each of their last six times out. Trending. McGraw on the ground. DC, you know it's going to be tough before you put even one non-conference game on the slate. Yeah, you'll. 